Okay, so okay, so I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on um, what exactly happens when you're using your Copic markers uh, and how the alcohol inks really need time to develop with one another. And the best demonstration that I can think of is to actually show you uh, taking away color um, using the blender pen, which we're actually not really taking away color. We're just pushing it or moving it, and I can show you that too. But um, let's just start by doing just some quick color. And I'm just basically just laying down some blue color. No big deal. But then I'm going to take my blender pen, and I'm going to draw a dot. I'm going to wait just a second. Do you see how that dot's getting brighter and brighter? That's basically what's happening. It's developing. Uh, it's reacting. The inks are reacting with one another. So I'm going to do just a little bit more and let you see it react. And one more time. I'm actually going to hold it in place. Sorry about my nails, you guys. That looks pretty bad. It just dawned on me that I haven't done my nail polish. That's horrible. Anyway, so that's what I'm talking about. And let me... Sorry about the camera jumping here for a second. Let me show you what I mean by pushing the color. So on this one that I did earlier, you can see that's pretty white, actually. It developed even more after I was done with it. So I, it looks like I took that color away, but when I turn the card over and focus in on that spot, you can see that I actually, see how dark blue it is right there? See how dark blue it is right there? It actually pushed the color deeper into the paper fiber. So that's, yeah, that's probably the best demonstration. Ooh, that one developed even more too. Look how white that is. So anyway, so hopefully you're seeing that with Copic markers, it takes a few seconds for the inks to, to react with one another. So definitely slow is better. Less is more when you're working with Copic markers. So I hope that helps. Have fun.